in this lesson i'm going to sh show you how to customize sharepoint new list form with power apps okay for that we need to create a list in the sharepoint go to sharepoint and create a simple list here so while you are creating a new list item in the sharepoint you will get a small window on the right side right so we will customize that window here now so for that we need to have one list here so i am going to site contents and i am clicking new here new list so i am naming it as electronics so create and after creating the list uh, we need to add some columns let's add some columns into the list by default you can okay now uh, let this title be like a electronic product id and in this add column let's add like product name save it and next one is we can add uh, this product name and also we can add here what is the product cost okay so, so also we can add uh, from which country this manufactured okay so here I'm adding city So here I am adding it as a single line of text okay so here in again country I will give okay save it and finally we can add some kind of uh, say ratings kind of things okay so I am taking this as a number column and I am taking this as ratings And click save right so my columns now are title product name and product cost city country ratings okay so if I click new here you can see a right hand side a window is coming here I need to do the entries for all these fields right so if you want to customize this uh, generally uh, we can use SPFX or Power Apps. Uh, so, without le we, if you want to use less coding, so we are opting for this Power Apps here. Okay, so let's see how to do this. Now, if you observe on the top of the list name, you can see a small ribbon here, and here there is an option like integrate Power Apps. Okay since we want to customize this new list form click customize forms here so once you click this customize form it will open my power apps here and in the tab let's go to again sharepoint and go to the site and so now this uh, power apps is loading in the meanwhile we let's go to again to the sharepoint list here site contents and we created electronics right so and i also uh, to get the countries uh, i created uh, say like uh, we can create countries here one more list a master list which will contains all the country names india south korea sweden china usa and also cities here okay cities we can also create like this and we can assign the country uh, 
which it belongs to here like this okay now let's go to our form and you can see the form here so everything is nice uh, so let's change the background color of the form first okay so go to the properties on the right side and you can see here advanced and the form is having fill here so let's fill this with some light green light blue or something here okay so now we have filled the form with light green and now uh, let's customize this form now okay so title is normal product name is with text box cost cost is a number column right so let's uh, make it uh, different control let's add different control for this so the product cost normally uh, we can define a range okay so what shall we do is first select this data card these are data cards inside the data cards there will be the actual uh, controls like text box or label here okay so first let's customize this product cost okay so by default the data card will be locked so to do any changes to it we need to unlock it first okay so select this text box properties you can observe here all these things and go to the data card and go to advanced here and here unlock to change the properties is just unlock it okay now instead of this text box for the product cost i will take uh, different control let's say some input control like slider okay so if you want to add slider to this just select the text box and add it okay now the slider came so delete the old control text box okay before deleting it save the name here okay so that we will rename this uh, new slider with the old name okay then if any uh, connections are there with the old name it will be satisfied and no errors will come here okay now let's uh, do this text box delete it and now rename this slider with the old one data card value 3 and now little bit uh, adjust it and you can see a red mark here uh, so let's see how to solve this problem edit the formula bar and you can see here value of data card 3 dot text is coming value means uh, data card uh, this is uh, this is generally a text box is uh, treat the values in the text box as a string but in the sharepoint we have given it as a number right so what it done value of data card value 3 dot text means uh, it gives a number written it will return the number format so now uh, we have replaced this uh, text box with a slider so we need to change this full uh, formula here now we can just remove this value text we will remove here and we can also remove this value of and dot dot value okay so now the error has gone okay now let's check this uh, slider properties here the slider properties are max and min okay so from uh, 100 to i will give here 1 lakh or we can write just 1000 
okay the product cost may be okay now let's uh, save this and go to this plus first preview this okay now no items are coming okay so what we need to give form come to form and change the default mode to new okay now save it and again see the preview and now you can see the preview okay and here you can see the product cost by just using slider you can see here okay now what shall we do is just publish this first to the share point okay so after publishing it let's go and see whether this is reflecting in our list our list name is electronics right so electronics is a refresh this page and click new here and now you can see the world form and again refresh I think if it is not appearing you can do two or three times refresh now you can see my uh, new list form is being uh, customized with power apps okay so like this you can uh, customize power apps uh, the sharepoint new list form with the power apps okay if you want to do more customization let's do that go here and remove that attachments because which we don't need it and uh, city is here right here and if you want uh, country in a drop down okay so let's add that country list here in the data sources okay add data connector add this connector from the share point so we are just creating a connection and in this share point site we can get the country here okay connect and here what shall we do is first remove this from the form this control okay go to the form select the form here and go to the edit fields let's remove the country here remove and add again the country here in the add field okay add and it is saying that edit text but we want a drop down right so we will select here a load values okay now it will appear as drop down here country and for this drop down we need to add a data source means sharepoint list we have created a country list right just assign that here for this drop down so here items first unlock it let's unlock this first okay and come to this drop down and here items it's asking the items if you see here on the top formula expression here just give the countries or here i make empty right you can see here items items you just assign these countries here okay here in the value you assign title right now if you see the output you can see these countries coming india south korea sweden china usa okay like this you can do and also here there is a little bit of edit in the formula a some error is there and go to the advanced maybe in the update uh, since we have changed this to drop down here data card value dot selected value it is not allowing us so uh, let's change this like title okay no error gone okay so like that you need to do some customization a little bit now we have ratings here right let's replace this text box with input ratings like stars okay so now here select this and unlock this changed properties select this text box 
and go to input here and come down and click rating so ratings came now and first check the name of this text box data card value 6 save it copy and delete this text box now and for the new control ratings just name this old control name give the old control name and you will get a small error here go to the edit formula bar and in the update uh, we got value of data card value 6 dot text type just uh, make it little bit on the top change that okay so go to remove this in the update so when we, when you are replacing the controls uh, mainly in the data card there will be a property for updation update so there you need to change always so now here data card value dot six and let's see what properties are available here value is there okay now we have given value it's showing right for us okay now i want to move this uh, ratings down below so i will go to form here and go properties edit fields and ratings i will bring this down to the country okay so i can do like this and if i go to see the output you can see here how it changed city country and ratings here product cost okay now let's go and see uh, whether we can assign anything to city also so we already know that city we have uh, there is a another sharepoint list we can add or not required so this customization is enough for now so uh, first save it and publish this and go to the list new list form refresh two times and click new here and you can see the customization from the power apps right now just add something uh, title here my product name is uh, a p p one two three and product name iphone and product cost is like just i'm mentioning this is not the real cost so i'm mentioning it as extreme thousand okay city i will give this as cupertino and the country i can select it as usa and the ratings i will give five ratings since it's iphone my favorite so okay now save it and let's see whether these uh, fields values will be inserted into the sharepoint list okay save and now you can see this all the values has been inserted into the sharepoint here okay so this is how you can customize this new sharepoint list form using power apps